Medes from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Welcome. Hello. You got your column called Cats. You, cats. Got, your, you got your podcast. Podcasts. <laughs> and there's a lot to talk about. We've got a long list of things today. Oh, yeah. uh, starting off with something that happened. Was it last night? Last Seinfeld night. just like popped on stage at the Brad Garrett Comedy Club. What happened? He was introduced uh, as part of the lineup last night, uh, early in the uh, in the show at Brad Garrett's Comedy Club in the in the regular rotation. There he is, and he uh. came out and did 30 minutes. Now it wasn't coincidental that I was there. I had, I had heard that he was going to be there, but Figured. I couldn't. Yeah, no, I couldn't. I thought, I couldn't well, say you anything. and Carrot Top were there. You must have known Carrot something Top about it. Carrot Top and I, with Rob Sherwood, <laughs> uh, was there. Uh, Jeff Mullet, uh, Carrot Top's assistant, was mm -hmm. uh, in the mix. We had uh, comics around the room: uh, John Bazaar, Nancy Ryan, uh, Kathleen Dunbar, very popular mm -hmm. in town. All these comics were there to watch the what many people think might be the greatest stand-up comic uh, ever. Wow, thirty yeah. minutes too in such it an intimate great. setting. It was amazing. That's he old came school. out and there was this like pause, like, is this really happening right. you know there was a there was this distinct pause like in the room like is this actually occurring because there was no word of it and then the place stood up and and he went for it wow yeah Jerry? it was really fun yeah it's the second time he stepped in on brad's club they're they're friends and yeah. he did it a, a year ago or in, in march of 2017 actually he, okay. he came in too so all right, great night cool. in vegas read all about it just posted it on the column uh, around before i came in all right perfect okay uh, something else that is actually coming to las vegas rupaul's drag race mm -hmm. live and it's coming to the flamingo and there have been rumors for a while that this was going to happen, and the Flamingo Theater, right where Donnie and Marie yes. are now, and Paul mm -hmm. Abdul is now as well, is this is where it's going to take place. It's a residency uh, production. It's going to open in late January. I think it's January 30th for mm -hmm. previews next year. It, RuPaul will not be in it, okay. but RuPaul is backing it, and it's going to be a live adaptation of the of the TV series. And there's going to be a few f uh, familiar faces and, and figures in the show. <laughs> if you remember, uh, like Derek Barry has yeah. been, been famous as a Britney Spears impressionist, a great drag mm -hmm. performer. That, that caliber performer in a, a, a cast doing it and that'll be their first uh, first drag show they've had since uh, Divas Las Vegas closed last year right so that'll be the first one in the whole season's entertainment family right and speaking of that Frank Marino kicks off tonight in Legends. tonight Joan will be Rivers, there right mm -hmm. okay. he's beginning the end of Joan Rivers tonight oh, okay yeah, and I'm looking forward to it it's Frank is overdue to be back on stage yeah he needs to be back on stage that's his thing and we're gonna be there uh, tonight to okay. see him so he's gonna do a run there for six weeks I think it is he's, yeah. he's doing some fashion segments with us coming up this month oh so boy I'll be, be tuning in for that <laughs> Keith Urban kicked off the newly renovated a Coliseum. How was it? You were there. Rock show, man. Yeah. Keith Urban, you know, this is another guy who's a country artist, but man, is he heavy duty. You know, he's a very, uh, an amazing guitarist. He plays bass, which I wasn't aware he was such a great bass player. And he rolled through his hits. They, they made great use of the new video panel mm -hmm. in the back of the room. It sounds better. The floor was open for GA for the first time, uh, you know, since they've renovated it. So you have, you know, that area there is where people are going to stand for shows that are, are more in mm -hmm. tune with a festival atmosphere, and Urban's is certainly that. And it was great. He was great. He got it. And he said uh, near the end of the show that this, uh, thank everybody for coming out, and he goes, who knows, this might, you might be seeing more of this in 2020. I bet. I think this was on purpose. He was the uh, uh, headliner to open this intentionally. I think he's going to be kind of like what uh, George Strait is at T-Mobile Arena. I believe that. Yeah. Okay, we got one minute, two things to get through. Let's okay. just quickly mention Antonio Brown merchandise. People are going, hey, we have so many pawn st uh, stores in town, and you talk to the pawn stars and they say these jerseys Steve Grad, the expert on pawn stars not going to be worth much they're worth what you paid for the jersey okay <laughs> if That's you thought it. you were investing in a signed antonio brown helmet or jersey you're uh, out of luck all right good to know david crosby at the red rock ballroom this friday documentary coming out yes. as well tell us about this uh, the, he's going to be performing on friday night the documentary david crosby remember my name is also premiering at at red rock this friday this has a personal connection people are wondering why i've been so interested in this movie because why? my cousin aj eaton directed it and it was produced by cameron crow this is a family thing i went up to the boise screening for uh, the friends and family thing because aj's been boise. yeah marcus eaton my cousin who's a rocker uh, has recorded and toured with David Crosby and performed with him, and that is a connection. So, okay. good luck to my cousin. Yeah, good luck, cuz. I'm sure you can read more in the column. It's called Cats in the Review Journal. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next week. You know what?